Well, reports Penny Hardaway is going to get the coaching gig at uh, Memphis, his, uh, his alma mater. If he had stayed healthy, Reg, finish that sentence. First ballot Hall of Famer. Easily. I mean, could do everything. I know people like to compare him to Magic Johnson. They were different type, tall guards. Penny was special because he saw the floor like Magic, but I thought he was a better scorer and maybe post-up player than Magic. And to remember, him and Shaquille at a young age. I know. At a young age. I mean, we had our battles back in the early 90s going against those guys. And we were fortunate to beat them, but Penny was just a rookie. So I knew the following year, once he figured it out, and they took us to seven games and beat us in, in, in seven games. So, yeah, he would be a first ballot Hall of Game. He also has the NBA's newest nickname. He's always been known as Penny. All right, Anthony, let's clear this up right away. I have read so many places about your nickname, Penny. All right. Tell me about it. Where did it originate? Well, my, uh, my grandmother gave me the nickname when I was young. She called me Pretty as a pretty baby. Uh -huh. My <laughs> friends, they took it as Penny. You know, they didn't know that she was saying pretty. You know, it just kept going. Anthony likes the name, but something gives me the Penny. It's better than Anthony. Stupid, stupid, stupid. That's dumb. Charles Barkley once told me that he would tell little kids if they ever wanted to be rich and famous, to never pass, always shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just the opposite of what you do. That's right. Uh, I guess I've just been unselfish like this for, for a long time. Uh, it's like if I see someone open for a second, I'm trying to give him the ball. And it goes a little something like... But his passing ability is just part of his tremendous all-around talent. First of all, he's an exceptional athlete. Uh, number two, he's really uh, an exceptional basketball player. He has a great awareness of what's going on on the floor at all times, and he's an instinctive player. Those are some of the qualities that prompted the Magic to trade for Hardaway on draft day. And so far, he's lived up to all their expectations. It's like Magic, passing the ball. He can dish it. I love to be on the wing, because I know it's coming my way. If I'm there, you give it up. Good job, good job, good heads up play. That's just a good habit to have, you know, on the team, because everybody can score. You know, everybody's not going to pass the ball, so I'm glad I have that. Well, also, it's about winning, too, I would think. Definitely, and also make your teammates better, because when your man's getting the ball, he's happy, and you're happy by giving him a good feed, and uh, it just keeps the whole team happy being unselfish. I mean, you win more games that way. And the Magic figure to be winning games for a long time with this combination, and for setting up Shaquille O'Neal. I get the thrill out of making somebody else look good. The best is yet to come. One thing I thought was very funny was reading where Irvin said, Irvin Johnson said that uh, when I look at Anthony, it's almost like looking in the mirror. And then you said, no, it can't be like looking in the mirror because I can jump. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was pretty funny. You know, I love her. You know, I, I was with him this summer. And uh, my game is similar to his because we're tall and we can handle the ball and make good passes. But my jumping ability outweighs his by a long <laughs> shot. You know, he has all the flashy moves and the spins. And I have the jump shot and the, and the leaping ability, you know. So I just hopefully I can keep up the things that he did when he was here in the NBA and accomplish some of the things that he did with all those championships. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Hey, you know, the only time you guys yell box out is when you're out of donut. You guys remind me of my shoe closet. I got one penny and a bunch of loafers. been sizing up for the torch passer. If I look and I look at the players today and who would take what either I've done that I've taken from you and you've taken from Elgin and expanded it even further, Hardaway is a great pick because of versatility and the things that he can do 
with the ball, without the ball, defensively, you know, to make his, his, his surrounding players better. It's a free country. If I want to give interviews, I'll give interviews. You know what your problem is? You're too modest. Hey, I give good quotes. And you can print that on the front page. Anthony Hardaway, best player in basketball, guarantees championship. Guaranteed. You can't say stuff like that. Let me just tell you right. I'm an integral part of the Magic organization. Now, Penny. Penny's the team leader, but I'm the choreographer for the Magic Dancer. Get you a job if you want. Hey, ooh, whoa. Penny, stop the car. That was Tyra Banks, boo. Hey, Bennett, is this couch real leather? Because it's sticking to my leg. Who's the man with the serious moves? Who's the man with the coolest shoes? The new Air Penny from Nike. Well, I guess Spike Lee wasn't available. Game film later to the night. I hit the books. I did everything I could do to get inside the heads of the Chicago Bulls. I even cut open an Air Jordan just to see what was inside. All so I could be ready, ready for battle. Because Penny told me, Lil, the Chicago series will be a war. Yes, a war. A war Penny has to fight, and I have to watch. Hey, baby, give me some chips. <laughs> Let's get it on! Is there part of you that thinks the public doesn't really completely embrace you or hasn't yet? I think so. It's just a, a, a dry feeling that I get that the entire public doesn't take me in as a you know, as, a, I guess, a, one of their favorite players. Really? Even though they shouldn't because, but you're you know, they're all star, a, Penny. I know, but then you're doing enough. commercials. That's not enough. That's not enough. What, what do you think it's going to take for you to realize that you're loved and really admired in this league? Uh, you know, I don't know. Until that time comes, I, I really won't know. But it's just that part of me that, that you know, you look at it in the, um, in the uh, all-star votes. You know, they voted a lot for me, but I still have a, a feeling that a lot of fans Say, well, I'm not going to vote for Hardaway. Let's vote for somebody else. You do care. You do care that you're loved and admired and embraced. You do want to be a hero to these kids. You do want to be somebody that people look up to. It's important to you, and it's okay. It's very important. I mean, and I'm, I'm not ashamed to say it. Like you say, some players might say, well, who cares what other people think? I'm getting paid. I'm a superstar. I'm first-team All-NBA. I'm on the Dream Team 3. What can they say that can hurt me? 
What happened in the month that followed was more than anyone could have expected. There it is. Go. Highlight. Yes. And with the big fella in street clothes, the Magic ripped off a 13-2 record in November, tying a franchise mark for wins in a month. And the man leading the Magic charge would later be named the NBA's Player of the Month, Anthony Penny Hardaway. He's capable of beating you three or four different areas. He'll run, he'll pull up, he'll post up, he'll get it off the offensive boards, he'll get it at the free throw line. I mean, he's one of the great, great, great players in this league. So, you know, it's like defending a, a Michael Jordan or a Grant Hill or a Scottie Pippen. Charles Barkley told me the other day that you are now in that category that Magic, Bird, Jordan, himself, do you know you're there? I don't think so. I, I'm, I think I'm my toughest critic, and I, I have a long ways to go. I still make too many mistakes right now. You know, in my third year, I'm still trying to, trying to get better. But for him to say that, it means a lot to me. But I don't think I'm on that level at all right now. Love with the baddest girl in the city. I wish I knew her. I wish I wasn't so shy. Wish I was a bit more.